This is Vashti Hurt, Editor-in-Chief of CarolinaBlitz.com and also co-host of Game Over with Vashti and Sharon on 730 Yahoo Sports. My co-host Sharon and I had the opportunity to talk with Sammy Watkins, former Clemson Tiger, current Buffalo Bills wide receiver. We asked him everything from how is his transition from Clemson to Buffalo been and to what kind of music does he get hyped to before games? So check out our interview uh, with Sammy Watkins. Clemson Tiger, current Buffalo Bill wide receiver. Sammy, thanks so much for joining us. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for having me on. All right. We're going get right to get right into it. What has your experience as a rookie been like? Oh, it's been great. Uh, it's ups and downs. Uh, it's really a situation where you got to come in prepared and uh, prepare for anything because anything can happen during your rookie season. But it's definitely an experience that, that every college player should look forward to. Hey, Sonny, it's Sharona. Thanks again for joining us. Really appreciate you uh, talking to us, taking the time out of your schedule to talk to us. What has been the biggest lesson that you've learned since being drafted by the Buffalo Bills? Um, that this this NFL, the corporation, is just a business. Uh, you got to treat it like a job. You got to uh, come prepared for work every day. And uh, it's something that you got to uh, really put your time and your effort in as far as watching film, keeping up with your body. And uh, it got to be, it has to be very important to, to you and uh, your team. Now, I'm an now, SEC. I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Toronto. I'm an SEC girl, and um, I went to school at Tennessee, the other orange. So I wanted to ask you, you were heavily recruited by Florida State, by Florida, and by by Miami, but you opted for Clemson, who I actually love, the other orange. What made you decide mm-hmm. to choose Clemson over some in, the, the in-state schools that recruited you? Um, it was just the coaches, uh, the atmosphere. I went down there and I uh, faced the state down there for a week. And uh, I just loved it. I loved the way the campus, how the teachers had things set up, um, the players that we, we was getting that was coming there. Uh, all of us was close from playing in previous games, both I mean, Army games and the Army game. And I just had really got a connection with DeAndre and uh, Todd Sport, and those are the reason why I really went there because I felt like the coaches was going to put me in the best situation to win, and uh, I would have a chance to. Uh, get my degree, and I'll make it for myself. Now, if you could tell college Sammy one thing that would help you prepare for the pros, what would it be? Um, coming out every day, practice hard, uh, do the right thing, going off the field, and uh, just try to really help everybody out around you and uh, try to be a consistent player and uh, just be a great guy all, right, all the way around the board. Sammy, I covered the USA College Bowl, and I got an opportunity to talk to a lot of college players. One of the questions that I enjoyed asking was, who was their favorite NFL player growing up? Did you have a favorite NFL player, and do you style your play after someone? Do you have a major influence as a football player? Um, yeah, I try to definitely play like uh, all the great wide receivers that played when I was in college and when I was in high school, the, the, uh, the Larry Fitzgeralds, uh, uh, Terrell Owens, uh, Barry Rice, uh, Marvin Harrison, all those guys. I try to put put my mindset in theirs and try to be dumb in every every week, every time I step on the field. And uh, it's just great to have those guys to look up to. And uh, I got to continue to work, and uh, hopefully one day I'll be in the Hall of Fame or in that position. Yeah, definitely some excellent choices there. Larry Fitzgerald is one of the best technicians in the game. So you couldn't you can't go wrong styling yourself after them. Now how has your game changed since college, if it has? Um with just being being uh, aware of defenses, uh coverages, uh being aware of learning how to uh, fight through press coverage and uh just learning how to play against uh, great 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 cornerbacks and safeties uh in this league you're not really gonna face a sorry Sorry, guys. So you got to be prepared each week to face uh, different styles of play. You got you got your Richard Sherman guys, and you got your uh, Patrick Peterson, who's going to press your bigger face. Uh, so you got to definitely have balance on who you're playing and watch some of the guys you're prepared for. 
Now, I'm going to ask one other game-related question, and then we're going to ask you a couple of fun things. So what sets you apart? What sets Sammy Watkins apart from other receivers? Um, I think the knowledge of the game, knowing uh, knowing the game, knowing the, when to go down, when to catch the ball, when to, when, to, when to do things in certain situations and knowing down and distance and knowing coverages and uh, knowing when you're getting the ball, those things I think I separate myself from my other wide outs because I know when I'm getting the ball. Uh, I know when I'm not, but I also know that I need to set up routes and set up plays uh, further in the uh, third or fourth quarter when we need it. All right, Simi, it's, it's Sharona again. A couple of quick, fun questions. The first one, do you have any nicknames? Um, well, everybody used to call me uh, Deuce is Loose or Deuce or S-Y-L or SWAT, uh, where I'm from. Is that, because of your, is that because of your number? Um, yes, they used to say deuce or deuce is loose or S Y or SWAT uh, from Sammy Short and Watt is my uh-huh. last name, Watkins. Okay. I, I, like, I like that. Do you have a pre-game ritual? Do you have, like, any superstitions or pre, pre, pre-game rituals that you like to follow? Um, I do my own thing. I, I listen to... Uh, Listen to listen to some music, um, stretch on my own, uh, try to get warmed up, try to get mentally uh, into into what I need to do. Uh, but other than that, I don't really do nothing uh, crazy or uh, out the way. Now I always like to ask this because I'm a music lover. You said you mm-hmm. like to listen to music. Yeah. I need to know what's on heavy rotation in your car, or what do you listen to to get hyped before a game? Uh, hype, hype. Uh, I would definitely say. Uh, from the Wayne, uh, Rich Homie, uh, Jay Z, just about anything. Drake, uh, Future, just just about everything. Really, I mix everything up. Migos. Migos. Okay. All, right. All right. Um, what's your favorite thing to do off the field, away from football? Um, really, come home to my family, uh, my girlfriend, and my baby. That's that's mainly what I do after. Practice, uh, and just really chill my house off those guys. Now, one final question. You just mentioned, and I, I know that you're a new father. Anybody that goes to your Instagram knows that you are a doting father. What are your expectations for yourself as a football player, as a man, and as a new father? Uh, yeah, I have to uh, balance all those things. Uh, first, I have to provide for my family. Uh, I, I got to handle my business on the football field. On the flip side, uh, we have a lot of extra time off when we get home. You got to make that family time with your with your family, and that is just unique because I got my my baby here with me. I get to uh, see her grow, uh, so I definitely have to uh, keep her keep her going every day and uh, make sure she's fine, and uh, really stay active with with everything I'm doing. And just keep trying to get better at everything. All right. Well, guys, that wraps it up. Thank you so much again uh, to Sammy Watkins. Sammy, tell everyone where they can follow you on Twitter and uh, social media. Uh, well, my Instagram is uh, Sammy Watkins, and uh, my Twitter is also Sammy Watkins. So if anybody want to follow me or come look at pictures, they can just at Sammy Watkins uh, on Instagram and uh, Twitter. All right, guys. Well, that right Thanks, Sammy. This. Yeah, thanks, Sammy. This is cool. We're, this is going to also be, as a note, on uh, carolinablitz.com, so we're going to post a, uh, the interview there. And thanks again for being on Game Over with Bash Time Sharona on 730 Yahoo Sports. No problem. Thank you all. Thank you, Sammy. Bye-bye. Bye.